So that means it's time for our happy ending. I love a happy ending. <laughs> hey. All right. So if you are new, thank you for watching. And if you've seen this before, you know what we're about to do. Uh, we have pulled a couple of posts from the Gremlin, who is one of the uh, writers, admins of the page. He's our troll. He is a <laughs> resident troll. That is very well said. But I honestly believe that he believes what he posts, so he's not technically a troll. Still a troll. I think he's a believer. Still a troll. I think trolls believe yeah. what they're doing. You think so? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> they believe in what they're doing. Yeah. But I think he honestly believes what he says. Uh, yeah, well, it makes you shake your head sometimes. So we pulled a couple of posts. And we're going to read them to you, and we're going to talk about them. And we're, we pulled a couple of our favorite comments uh, on yeah. these posts, and we're going to highlight those because we appreciate the people who push back on the gremlin. <laughs> so we got Philly. It is before midnight, and we can kill them before they multiply. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. We've got Philly's related posts for this show. Uh, his first one that he put up uh, was, Give the O4s a standing ovation tomorrow, you sheep. And that was in response to... I still laugh when I see this shit, though, dude. <laughs> in response to the fact that our bats were very cold uh, in that first game. And then basically uh, reiter reiterated what he was saying uh, with another post later on that day. Same players, same results, and now a year older. Does it bother anyone of you they may have lost the division on the very first day of the season? Anyone? Lost the division anyone? on the we first lost the day of the season. We're two games in. And the division's lost, so we're we eliminated. We eliminated. Stop playing. We're done. We're probably not making the playoffs, which was Throwing also in. his prediction. Yeah, he had us at eighty-one wins and no playoffs. Mm -hmm. So yeah. typical gremlin hating on Philadelphia sports. Wait, he had us at eighty-one and eighty-one. I yeah, I'm pretty Holy sure that was fuck. it. I'm pretty That's sure so that generous was of him, dude. Oh my god, <laughs> they're a, they're a five hundred baseball team. So I'm, I'm going to scroll back. I do think it was eighty-one exactly. Yeah. It, all right, I'm hearing yes. 81? From yes right. from the uh, man behind the curtain. So, yes, 81 wins. My The first one, uh, standing ovation to the O4s, you sheep. It's a clear shot at That's the, a great recommendation. That's a good <laughs> idea. I mean, fuck, it worked for Trey Turner last year. Exactly right? where I, I mean, was going. It's a shot at the Trey Turner situation from yes. last year. Yeah. And he had a problem with it last year with the fact that they came back from a road trip, came back home, and it was like yeah. a planned event across all the fans that we were going to give Trey Turner a standing ovation. I was there. I was there. And all we have heard after that from him and from other players on the team is that they look at that moment as the turning point for the season, that it fixed not just Turner, but the team as a whole looked at that and said that was when we felt that our season really turned around. Because they felt the love from the fucking fans. Yeah, right. So he's pointing right. at a moment, laughing at it, that worked. Right. Trey Turner got yeah. better after that. It's an asinine comment, dude. It really is. Aren't they like, all from him? Well, <laughs> <laughs> yes. The answer is yes. <laughs> uh, it that's your stance. Worked. Yeah, I mean, it, it worked. worked. Yeah, yeah. Trey Turner was better after the ovation. He was. He, and nobody can deny that. Correct. The day of the ovation. I was there. Mm -hmm. I watched it. Right. <laughs> like, it was the, that day. Right. Not that minute. Like, the first ovation, <laughs> he had, like, a, a hard-hit fucking ball that uh -huh. was just gloved. Can't do nothing about that. I can kind of remember, like, clear as that. <laughs> because I was getting a beer and food for Jesse as we're walking back. Oh, Jesse's drinking now? That's cool. Yes, I was getting a <laughs> beer for me and a hot dog for Jesse. <laughs> And a beer for Jesse, not talk for me. Uh, and then, uh, was that? I think that might have been the day that the fucking of the infamous blizzard of 03, uh, 2023. Oh, was it that one? It might have been. Okay. No, um, no, 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 no. The ovation, which is our coined phrase, by the way. Fuck anybody else that thinks it's not. Oh, blizzard of 2023 is our <laughs> coined phrase. Now, the ovation was later than that. I know, I know that. I know that. Okay, so we were at that game too. Okay, um, uh, but that game, I remember a fucking crack at a bat. Everybody's screaming. 
We're like, oh, what happened? And we look up at the screen, like the little, there's all the little TVs in there. Mm-hmm. We're like, oh, fucking Turner hit a double. Holy shit. Right. Like, fucking, it was great, dude. <laughs> then we gave him a ovation every single fucking at bat uh-huh. for like two more games, and that was it. <laughs> but, uh, but it worked. Exactly. It That's worked. my thing. So, yeah. I mean, he's calling back a moment that worked for the team. Yeah. And we're sheep. Or sheep. That's the other thing. Bad. <laughs> Bad breath. <laughs> Bad posts. <laughs> and then, and then, obviously, losing the division after one loss. Now two. The division's still not lost. Throw in the towel, dude. Fuck it. <laughs> Fuck it. Towel's moldy. Stinks. Smells weird. Throw it out. <laughs> Bet you the gremlin smells worse. <laughs> <laughs> According to our 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 followers, he smells like hot pockets and yeah. fucking yeah. pizza rolls. We've got one of those coming up that we've pulled. It yeah. was an excellent comment I by Ryan it. Morrison. I love it. But but seriously, I mean, to we are not we <clears throat> earlier in the show were saying that we're very annoyed and disappointed yes. and upset. Yeah. We don't think that it's lost. We still think that we could beat the Braves for the division. Yeah. Losing two games in March. Does not right. lose you the division. Yeah, and that, that's where the the the, uh, the whole troll sediment comes up for me with him. Like he says he's not a fan or whatever this and that, but it doesn't matter. Like, listen, this is a fan page. This is a Broad Street misery page, but the misery does stand for misery. So, but hold on. Okay, go go. I'm not. I'm. I, don't get me wrong. I'm not backing him. I'm not. Before I fucking finish. That's okay. Because we keep losing. That's what I wanted to go ahead. Go ahead. You probably didn't hear that. I'm going to say what Jim just said. Right. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. The misery is a point that we just lose at the end. Yeah. The, 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 right, right. The misery is that we always lose. That is the misery. Right. We don't have to be the misery. (laughs) We are don't, we don't have to, to be the miserable ones. <laughs> Tim's over here throwing shit around. <laughs> I, he's more mad about the first two losses than anyone. So, <laughs> dude, yeah, I'm maybe not as mad. I don't know. You, you don't watch these games with Jesse. Oh, it's fucking yeah. bad, dude. He... A pre pubescent 14 year old that's oh, a pubescent 14 year old that's all about sports. That's what he cares about. Dude, he's fucking, oh my God, dude. No idea. <laughs> Is he the gremlin? No. Uh, no. <laughs> no. All right, let's um let's pull up some of these comments because some of you, some of you guys Oh yeah, we can touch on that real quick. Do you want to touch on the commanders? We can. We don't have any it's, comments on there, but that's all right. It's another it's another asinine comment from the gremlin. <laughs> so that that's the comment. Uh he posted earlier this week that the commanders are quietly building a solid team. The Eagles better watch out. Especially if they land a legit quarterback. I'm not exactly where sure where to start with this one. Um, the commanders have not done anything in this offseason that I have looked at and said, wow, that's a great move by them. Well, I've seen a lot of upgrades by them. Uh, quietly building a solid team. It's a stupid comment. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah upgrades. I mean, they. they a fucking plumber, a plumber, and mm-hmm. their fucking home field is, a, an, is an upgrade. Right. For them. Right. I'm just saying, they can upgrade in a million different places. Like, I see what you're saying. I see they what made a lot saying. of upgrades. Yeah, I give them that. Sure. Well, I give them that. For a team that's been living in the basement. They're still going to be the last fucking team in our division. Mm. Mm. Yeah, actually, you know what? I take that the back. The Giants. I take back. The Giants. They might switch places with the Giants. Okay. But they're not on the fucking douchebags and the Eagles fucking level yet. No. No, not. not even close. Yeah. Uh, one, they have to get the pick right at number two. They actually have to get the quarterback. <laughs> You're smiling. At the Sorry. Comments. I just, yeah, You're I'm smiling at the comments that we're yeah, going yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they've got to get the quarterback right. They have to get some football people in the building because right now they're running yeah. a football team with basketball sure. people. Yes. And they missed out. And on, hockey. Uh, yeah. And, and they missed hockey. out they on the devils too. Both. No, but I'm saying like all the yeah. the guys that they filled their front office with are all basketball. They just guys. want to throw money. They missed out on the first two yeah. coaching options. 
because they're not running the football team with football people and the coaches that interviewed said, yeah, we don't want to deal with any of that. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, I am not worried about the commanders. They are yeah. not building a solid yeah. team. So we've established two things. Our resident troll, the grand one, mm -hmm. is a Braves fan and no, a Commanders fan. He's not a Braves fan. He doesn't even like baseball. That's oh, the other part that annoyed me about him commenting on the Phillies. He doesn't uh, even like baseball. He has posted many times on the page about how the sport is boring. I thought you were going to talk about that comment, his reply to one of our comments. Oh, no, no, no. I no. thought that's what you were going to bring no, up. No, 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 he's, he's been on record. Baseball is boring. He doesn't care about it. He hates the sport. Why are you even commenting on the Phillies? Yeah, true. Go back to your hole. Your hole, your basement. Yes. Mama's basement. Apparently, the, that's, what, the that's what our commenters think. <laughs> well, we've got one right up here. Matt Ruby. This guy. I love it. Dude, you should have lost your right to post as an admin the first day. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <clears throat> Which I agree with. I don't think we need gremlin posts. Other than this segment, which I enjoy doing, we don't need them. We don't need them. But without him, there wouldn't be this segment. That's true. And I do enjoy this segment. All right, so we can use less of him. Yes. Less Let's tone it great. down. <laughs> less is more. Less is more. <laughs> Although we're probably invoking 20 times more fucking I'm, I'm sure he's firing away at the keyboard yeah, with right sticky now. fingers yeah. right now. <laughs> with his sticky fingers. <laughs> they smell like cheese and pizza rolls. <laughs> we're, read that next one for us. I like this one. Uh, it says, this is from Rich Lanasco. It says, just call it what it is. Gremlin isn't, it really isn't even a fan. And then the Gremlin replies. Yes, he did. I am not a fan. I'm a sports customer. What the fuck? Yeah. Can, can someone define that? What is a sports customer? Troll. <laughs> yeah. You can anagram that somewhere, I'm sure, to troll. <laughs> <laughs> There's no L's in it, but I, I'm I'm lost by that on what a sports customer is. He's saying that he's a buyer of a seller. Okay, so like they're not selling him what he wants right now, so he's not happy. Well, back in the day, okay, okay. not not back in the day, but only a couple of weeks ago, he made a a post, a comment that he keeps tabs on us losers. Uh, he keeps tabs on us. Yeah, keeping receipts. Keeping receipts, right. Yeah, yeah. So when we say things about certain teams or certain people, then he goes back and gives his pulls his receipts out. Right. right. Well, look, we keep tabs on you too, bro. <laughs> We're keeping receipts. You're not a you're not a fan. Correct. You're just you're only happy when 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 what you're buying is you know I'm saying like I I think he's only happy me. when we lose. Mm. It's when he's most active. I think he is a fair weather fan. Hmm. That's what I think. I think he just wants to see us lose. Ryan Morrison posted my favorite one. This is my favorite too. We yeah. both sent this. This this was the best one. Uh, simply put, go choke on a hot pocket. <laughs> <laughs> and to which the gremlin said, I actually had hot pockets this week. The, Shocker. The pepperoni was blah, but the ham with the melted cheese met my approval. They are probably the best hot pockets of all time. I'm just saying, dude. <laughs> ham with cheese hot pockets are fucking great. Yeah. Ryan Morrison, I love your comments. Yes, you are keep always, them coming, dude. Always attacking the gremlin, well, and it always makes me smile. And before we move forward on that, um, you guys are really fucking slacking with the hate on the gremlin with these posts like you guys hate them on your on your comments but they're just like oh you you suck yeah. oh this page nah. you guys suck listen bring the fucking heat man bring it that's what keeps us in this segment alive yes talk shit about the gremlin <laughs> and do it better the same do way like like ryan morrison the same Be way ryan morrison that you guys heckle the opposing pitchers at citizens bank park when they're in the bullpen that's what you like need Spencer to do. Spencer Strider. Yes. That's what you need Piece to do to the gremlin. Bring that same intensity. Bring bring the same vile. Bring uh, the fucking hate. Yes. Let's go. Yes. Bring that Philly hate. Give him so much that he can't handle it. <laughs> uh, Larry Sykes had a good one here. I saw this, <laughs> this coming was... 
when Bryce showed up carrying his new purse. I sent this one because this was in re- this was in response to his give your own four standing ovations. It's just a funny fucking comment. It's funny. Dude. It's funny. I don't I don't actually agree with it. Like Bryce is like bro, Bryce funny. is like oh for like everything so far already. Uh-huh. But that's a funny fucking comment. It was very dude. funny. And I actually You're a thought- grown man, dude. I don't care how much money you make. <laughs> Can't carry a purse, dude. Can't. I also thought that it might have been coming from a little bit of uh Caleb Williams' reaction because he had that meme going around. I where he had the lip gloss and the pink phone and the nails painted. So yeah. I thought it might have been shades of that where they where uh yeah. Yeah, well whatever. That's different. I have a different opinion on that. But okay. Again. Okay. <laughs> I thought that might have been where he was coming from. But the, the outfit that Bryce was wearing, loved that. That jacket that he had on was awesome. The jacket was cool. Yeah. Really cool. Yeah. Somebody, I feel like somebody like made that. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. You know? Yeah. The custom yeah. for him. Yeah. Yeah. Super cool fucking coat. So you were talking about Gremlin keeping receipts and yeah. Rich right here. Oh, is, here's a receipt right yes, here. Yes. Rich so, is keeping receipts. Rick Lanasco again. <laughs> is this a second comment? Yeah. For two, him? For, two from Rich. Rich was yeah. good today this week. Uh so sorry, behind the camera there. Can you see that, Chad? I can see it. Yeah. Can you read it? Yeah, uh, it says I thought I thought you were gonna read it. My bad. It's uh, the Rich, Rich Lanasco <laughs> says, keep this same energy uh when the runoff Seven, uh, when I think you meant they, when they run off seven wins in a row, Gremlin, right? So yeah, to what you were saying, he keeps his receipts. He's a fair weather fan, too, yeah, right, right? Right, so now when we go on a winning streak, we won't hear from him, no, he'll go quiet, or right. which or, is our receipts. <laughs> Why are you quiet right now, Gremlin? Why are you quiet? <laughs> or he'll go talking about something else, you know, the, yeah. the Phillies oh. will win seven straight, and he'll start talking about the oh, second casting. string. Casting went 0 3 today. Oh, he won't even talk Fucking about loser. Phillies. No, 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 he won't yeah. talk about Phillies. He'll start talking about the second string defensive tackle <laughs> and how he's not doing well in training On camp. On a D2 <laughs> fucking college team, dude. Like, yeah. <laughs> oh, the Phillies are good? All right, I'll change my attention. I'll go talk about the Eagles now. I'll go talk yeah. about some other nonsense. Jalen Hurts is overpaid. <laughs> that, <laughs> overpaid, overrated. That's when we're going to get another one of those posts as soon as the Love Phillies it. start doing well. Love it. <laughs> Which is actually. Perfect timing for the next comment. Yes. Which is from Tom Lachlan. It says, probably Lachlan. Laughlin, maybe. Laughlin? 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 Yeah. I thought it was Lachlan. Is there anything that you don't bitch about? That's what he said. That says. answer, Tom, whatever your last name might be, <laughs> is fucking no. <laughs> There's nothing he doesn't bitch about other than ham and cheese hot pockets. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I you love it. Me. You got me with that one. <laughs> he, only bitch, he only doesn't bitch about him with hot pockets. He thinks they're perfect. His mom bakes them to perfection. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. All right. Uh, and then we got, we got uh, one more. One more. Tom Trainer. Two more? Two, Two more? more. All right. Tom Trainer. Trainer's a fucking cool ass name, dude. I know like nine trainers. I don't know if I know you, Tom. Um, <laughs> I know Tim Trainer. Yeah, I know Tim Trainer. Yeah, he's a uh, pool player. Yeah, good pool player. Can't beat me though. You're not Tim. <laughs> uh, 161 games left. Holy fuck! <laughs> you all are going to be exhausted if you react to every game like this. Fucking Corhan is raising his hand. <laughs> fucking a right. Point, you were not wrong, point, dude. Pointing at himself. Not nah, pointing at himself, man. <laughs> Before we started today, Jim was telling us how exhausted he was watching yesterday's Noah, game. Yeah, Literally Noah. said that he was physically exhausted by what watching. Did throw up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and the, yeah. One of the Flyers got <laughs> trash yesterday. What are you talking about? Right. That's what he just said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, all right. Yeah. I thought right. you said the Flyers lose by one. No, lost five one. Lost five. Oh, one. I thought I yeah. thought you said by one. I'm like, what? <laughs> the fucking game did you watch? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It yesterday was, sucked to be a Philly fan. That's for it sure. It was a bad weekend. It was a bad weekend. Yeah. Tom's right. We can't react like this to no. every game. No. But you do get hyper focused on that first weekend, that first series. You want to start off well. Disappointment. And have your doors blown off by the Braves. Yep. You know, yeah. It's got us all in fits. Not to the level of the Gremlin, 
disappointment is the word, but it's also an awakening that the Phillies need to understand that they're not the fucking shit. They need to step their game up and play better if they want to win. And that is the perfect lead into the last comment here from Joe. I'll let you take that last name. (laughs) (laughs) Stephanie Quicks. I might have been kind of close. Sorry, Joe. It's a hard last name. Oh, fuck. But your comment is perfect. (laughs) Sound it out. (laughs) Stephan. Stephan Kuwitz. Stefankowitz. 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 I like Got it. it. Stefankowitz. The comment is Got perfect, it. though. You can't lose. I can fucking read, bro. You can't yeah. lose the division. Stefankowitz. On the first game of the season, you moron. And then he adds. You're fucking eight, right. Who wants the best record in baseball if you lose to the Phillies in the playoffs anyway? You guys are absolute idiots. I feel bad for your parents. Yeah. My only issue there is you had to pluralize it. We're not all idiots, Joe. It's just the gremlin. He's right. our- well, that's the reason. Actually, Joe, Mr. Stefankowitz. I is think you on point. I think this is a perfect comment to end this with because yes. we do this segment because Broad Street Misery is not the gremlin. Correct. The gremlin draws in a lot of people. He does with a lot of fucked up comments, but then people gonna start getting sick of him mm-hmm. and they leave. But don't leave. Dude. Like we're not. Yeah. We're not all associated with the gremlin. Are you the gremlin? Are you the gremlin? We are not. not we are the beardos. Yes, we're the beardos. Don't ever fucking ask me that question again, dude. <laughs> but no, it needs to be said. It needs to be said. There are many people on this page. Uh, so, you know, just keep tabs. Yeah. Keep those receipts on and the ground. Stay gremlin. with us, man. Share us. Keep going, man. Right. Fuck. 